So in this video, we'll look at how to determine if two vectors, that is, two vector equations of a line, are parallel, equal, or neither. And this begins on page 256. It actually is on page 257. And we'll look at question 9a. We're given two equations there. You can look. I'm not going to write them down. They're right in your textbook. And so the first thing we want to do when we look at those two equations is check if the direction vectors, I'll just write dv, are multiples of each other. So the first thing we want to do is look at the direction vectors. If the direction vectors are multiples of each other, they're at least parallel. So the direction vectors are 3, negative 6, 3, and I'm going to put equals question mark, because I don't know if they're equal yet, to some factor k, 2, negative 4, 2. That is, is this vector some multiple k of this vector? I put a question mark. I don't know. But I'll try each piece separately, and if I get the same k, I'm good. In other words, is 3 equal to k times 2? Well, to solve for k, that's easy. Let's set them all up, but we're going to solve for each one. In other words, is negative 6 the same k times negative 4? And then finally, is 3 the same k as the previous 2 times 2? And now to solve for k, we just divide both sides by 2. And so k equals 3 over 2, or 1.5. And here, same thing. We'll go k equals, we divide both sides by negative 4. And if you want, use your calculator. Negative 6 divided by negative 4 is 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. It's the same thing, 1.5. And here again is 3 equal to, we're going to do the same thing, divide by 2, and we get k is 1.5. So we got the exact same k, as in they're all, this, all the components of the same multiple. That means the whole vector is a multiple of the other, which means they're, I'll put implies, this little symbol means implies, they're at least parallel. So we know for sure they're parallel. So now the question is just to find out, are they equal? Well, how do we know if they're equal? What we want to do, again, you might want to look at your text, textbook, is now check the point from the second equation in the first. That is to say, I want to find out the point from the second equation looking at my textbook is 2, negative 2, comma 5. And so I'm wondering, question mark equals, I'm wondering, can that point be made from the first equation? Because if it can, they're in the exact same line. That is to say, I know they're in the exact same direction. They're at least parallel. So if I can get to that point on this line, if I can get to the second equation's point on this line, that means they share this point, which means they share all points because they're already parallel. If they share one point and they're parallel, they share all points. So all I need to find, same sort of methodology, can this point be gotten by the same s on the other line? Well, let's find out. We'll do three pieces again. In other words, component one, can two be made of one plus, and I'll write the s afterwards so I don't have to put brackets this time. So this is one plus three s. And I want to check all of them. In other words, can this component, negative two, be made from zero minus 6s. And it has to be the same s every time. And finally, can 5 be made from 3 plus 3s? All right, let's do the math. So take away 1 both sides. We get 1 equals 3s. And so s equals a third. So we have to get a third both times. What do we got over here? We got negative 2. The 0 doesn't even matter. Equals negative 6s. So divide both sides by negative 6, you get negative 2 over negative 6, which is a third. Good, so we just get it here again, and we're good to go. I'm going to start by taking away 2 both sides. So you get 3 equals 3s. But now I get, hold on, oh, and this is incorrect. Let's do that again. This is take away 3 both sides. So I should have had 5 take away 3 is 2. But nonetheless, 
when I divide, what's 2 divided by 3? Just 2 thirds. And they're not the same, which means you can't get to this point from this equation, which means they're not the same line. So therefore, the two equations are parallel, but not equal. And how do I know that? Well, I went through and found out are they parallel by checking the vectors, the direction vectors of their lines and seeing could I find the same multiple of all the components? I could, which means that these two vectors are multiples of each other. That means they're at least parallel. Then I had to check, okay, let's take a point from the second equation and check it on the first equation. If I get the same s, then this point is on this equation, which means the lines are equal. But I found the s's were different. This one was different, which means the two equations were parallel, but not equal.